Okay, first things first. Yes, I put the four inch blocks back in the Ford. No, this is not how high it sits right now. We do have a, a 12 ton jack sitting on the hitch. That's as high as the jack will go. And it actually kind of made the truck look level. It kind of worked out for whatever reason. I posted a picture on Instagram with the truck kind of sitting like that. And everyone was under the impression I leveled it. I am leveling it this weekend, but I haven't leveled it yet. Uh, so what we're doing today, my pipe stands are supposed to be in today. Okay. According to FedEx's website, Psych! they're supposed to be delivered today. In order to get our lift shackles in, we have to cut these rivets right here out. There's four of them. We have to pop those out. We have to take the leaf spring out of the shackle right there and bolt the new lift shackles in and put that leaf spring in the new shackle. And then this will be lifted six inches in the rear. Uh, compared to how it is now, it just has four inch blocks and I believe these are inch and a half out of leaves. They might be one inch. I'm not entirely sure, but then we'll, we'll be sitting six inches higher in the rear. I can't jack this up any higher to even get uh, the new lift shackle in and get everything connected again. So I kind of have to wait anyways. Uh, what I could do, which is sketchy, I kind of planned on it because my pipe stands weren't supposed to be until tomorrow, uh, but I could stack two tires, a 12 ton jack stand on each side, and it, it would probably be high enough. But the problem with that is, is it's not safe. And I'm, I'm making this video, it goes out on the internet, and it's showing all these different people how to work on their vehicles. And I'd rather be an influencer of doing the right thing instead of an influencer of doing the wrong thing, because that is not safe. Doing something like that could result in you losing your life. And I, I wouldn't wanna be that person that showed you how to do something that took your life. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't live with that. So what we're gonna do is work and try and get some of these rivets out in the meantime of waiting on these pipe stands. So when they do get here, we can jack this up and we'll already be almost done. All right, we got two of the rivets cut out. We got the bolt loose to get the leaf spring out of the shackle. So now this side is done right here. I'm gonna tackle the other side. <sighs> Took me about 25 minutes to get it all, just those two out. The top two are going to be a pain just because I can't really get my, my saws all up in there. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do uh, when it comes time to do those, I'm gonna already have my pipe stands. I'm gonna take the leaf spring. Oh, you guys can't even see what I'm talking about. There, can you guys see now? All right, so when I get my pipe stands, I'm gonna take this leaf spring out uh, so I can get my Sawzall up, up top there. If that doesn't work, I'll at least still be able to get my grinder because right now I can't even really reach this top right one with this leaf spring still in here. So this is gonna have to get uh, completely pulled out and dropped down in order to get those out. And then I'm gonna clean the frame up and possibly paint it black. I'm undecided because, because I wanna paint the lift shackles, but I don't have the paint right now. And so I'm thinking maybe in the future, once I have all the paint and everything, pulling them back off and painting them, undecided on that, I might just you know spray them black along with the frame because I do plan on painting this frame. Uh, so it's kind of kind of a toss up in the air right now, but I'm gonna jump on over to the other side, get that done. It's about two o'clock, so I'm hoping those those pipe stands show up sometime soon. If not, this video is gonna get dropped over into tomorrow. All right, so you guys want to see what a joke my life is? Next day, I gave up on working on the truck because it was getting later and later, and no pipe stands were showing up. 
Um, so I got two different tracking numbers for the pipe stands. I ordered two of them, and I got two different tracking numbers. One said it was supposed to be delivered yesterday, and one said it was gonna get delivered today. And, well, one yesterday never came, and the one that was getting delivered today just showed up. So now we only have one. Why, why is this my life? Um, I can't do it with one pipe stand because I would have to do it like this and then the truck can teeter and all it takes is it sliding off the jack stand and falling. So you guys wanna know what uh, tops off my life even more? So you guys see how this box is all completely freaking mangled, like rust in the bubble wrap, everything. Well, signs of use, that, that's rust that's on that. Paint worn off right here. Spin this around. Paint worn off right here. All scratched up all over it. More paint worn off. Here, let's turn around where you guys can see it. And the right lighting, but paint all worn off. All worn off. And like, quite honestly, like honestly, I don't really care because it's starting to get scratched up. It's it's a pipe stand. It's starting to get scratched up being used. The point of this is, is I paid $160 for two of these. And the first one I get is used. Like I paid $80 for that to be brand new. And I get it and it's used. Now like if that had been a discounted price, anything like that, I would understand it. But I, I paid for a brand new one. I should be the one that breaks it in that scratches it, everything like that you go to the store and you buy something brand new you expect when you open the box to be brand new not someone used it put it back in the box and returned it and then you get a used one at full retail brand new price i can't catch a break guys so now i i just emailed the seller of this uh hopefully they make things right uh hopefully i don't have to return this one because i'm gonna get my use out of it before i return it Five days later, we have both pipe stands and we have a full entire day. It is 8.30 in the morning. We have an entire day to get this truck done. So my goal is, is to have the rear finished by lunchtime, close this video out and then start the next video to finish the front. And then hopefully in the next couple videos you guys see we'll have a full 20 inch lifted Ford. Now the thing with this is these are six inch lift shackles in the rear. We have an inch and a half addle leaf and we have four inch blocks. So we are gonna squat again. Because after I put this six inch lift shackle in, we're officially gonna sit level then. It might be a little bit higher in the rear. But then when we do the front lift, you know the, the front's gonna sit higher than the rear. I have to order bigger blocks for the rear. I'm torn between doing bigger blocks or six inch lift leaf springs, but you know, uh, probably gonna go with whatever the, the cheaper option with that is, because all of this is on a budget. But enough talking, let's get this truck lifted up in the air, set down on these pipe stands. Let's get, let's get it finished, because I'm tired of wasting time.
Now I'm sitting here brainstorming because I've let it down all the way. That's as high as the jack would go on the axle. Now of course springs have flex, so I'm jacking it up and it's not gonna pick the truck up as high as I want it to go. But right now we're sitting on those pipe stands. The truck is actually like perfectly level. I mean, since I've got this tape measure on me, let's pull it out and see what we're actually sitting with. So right here in the rear, we're right at, come on you fucking retard. Right at 14. Up here in the front. Oh yeah, we're higher in the front still. We're about 16 and a quarter, I'd say. Now we're still squatting about two and a half inches. But honestly, it, it looks it looks level. It, it's hard to tell squat when you're sitting this high in the air. That's why I'm kind of hoping once I get the rear lifted. We can see what it's actually sitting at. And then with the front, it might be so tall that you can't really tell a lean to it. I might leave it like that. Um, cause if, it, if it looks anything like this, when I'm done, I'm gonna leave it that way for now. But I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna brainstorm off camera on how to jack this up even higher. As a, it's gotta, it's gotta go quite a bit higher up. Like a, a good another like, uh, hmm, let's say six inches. Okay. Uh, a good, I'd say 10, 15 minutes later, got it all figured out. Um, I kept jacking it up. I used a wood block, that right there. I used a wood block and I'd jack it up. I'd lift them, I'd jack it up, I'd lift them. Cause I was afraid like the wood block would split. That actually happened to me uh, about a week and a half, two weeks ago. And now I'm using it as wheel chocks. But these, this uh, piece of wood actually split in half on me when I was jacking the truck up. So now, I'm a little bit more uh, skeptical with using wood blocks, but you know, I don't have a jack that goes high enough. I need to uh, invest in one of those like off-road style jacks that has the adjustable uh, cup on it. I think that's what you call that is the, the end, the cup. But enough rambling on. I'm now going to take the bolts out of the leaf spring, drop the axle down, set it on the tires. We'll still have the front bolts in for the leaf spring. That way I can access the plates a little bit better. I already recorded taking out a lot of those rivets. I'm not gonna bore you guys with any more of that, but I am gonna pop these bolts out, drop it down, get the uh, mounting plates for the leaf springs, get those taken off, and then it's gonna be time to put the new ones on.
my arms hurt. I need a break. Oh no. Nice. <laughs> that was my finger. <laughs> Hold on, we have problem. All right, it's now 12.30 and this side is completely done. Let me show you kind of what I had to do. So these lift shackles are made by WFO Concepts and they're made for a 2001 to 2010 2500 HD Silverado. Not a 85 F-150, but Mile High Duramax gave me these and I'm not gonna put them to waste. So these are originally six inch lift shackles. That's with this sitting flush on the frame. Well, <laughs> this plate's actually bigger than my frame. So if we look at it this way, as you can tell, top sticking over it, the bottom still sticking under it, good two, two and a half inches. So what I did was I reused the top holes. I actually put this one right here in the right hole of this. I would have went farther to the left, but as you can see, our uh, research is in the way. And yes, I could have taken it out. I could have reused these holes, had it come straight down. Uh, but this still has to go backwards, which then would put us right in line with where it was before. So it was right here before. This is supposed to go backwards. So that's gonna put it right there. Other side's gonna be the same way. And that's how we're gonna, gonna rock it. Passenger side is done. Like I said, it's 12.30. I've been out here since 8.30. The only thing I've had to eat was banana. Um, I didn't think it'd be this complicated, but I did spend a solid 45 minutes trying to get the axle to drop. Uh, I found out my U-bolts being tight wouldn't allow it to drop. I had to loosen my U-bolts. I'm guessing from the pitch angle on my blocks, it was keeping the axle like this. The axle needed to go more like this, and it wouldn't allow it to do it until I loosened the blocks, and then it could go down like this. Um, that's the problem I was having. Got that fixed. Uh, honestly, I think we might have to flip the blocks around and put them in backwards. Uh, if I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna go ahead and just stack the two inch stock blocks on top of them. And when we get the front tackled, we'll probably be sitting pretty close to level. Because this went from a six inch lift shackle and I looked up on WFO Concepts. Six inch shackle gives you five and a half inches of lift. Well, we dropped it another two inches, a good two inches, so seven and a half inches of lift. Uh, so these have somehow become eight inch lift shackles. So, um, yeah, we might need to get a longer drive shaft. Don't quite know yet. I'm hoping we don't, but if we do, you guys will just have to smash that like button. Ah, I'm gonna outside at meat lunch, catch back with you. This video's all over the place, but we're getting there, I promise. All right guys, I've officially had my ass handed to me by a truck, but the rear is finally done. So let's, let's back up so you guys can get a better look at it. There we go, it is a lot higher in the rear now. Now the only thing I'm noticing is the axle is still off center just a little bit. That side's a little bit farther back. So once, uh, once I can get it up and evened out, we'll be Sitting right about center here. Center before was here. Let me right about here. Let me a little bit, a little bit forward. But I'm not mad about that. Uh, but yeah, it is definitely off center. I'm sure you guys can tell here that this tire back here is farther back, and this one's farther forward. Just got to get it up, hanging, get it situated, and set down. But it is on the ground. 
So a little height comparison for you guys. Remember, I'm six foot six, so this is probably, I'm gonna say about six two. Uh, at the very corner, say about six three. So very corner of the bed, six three. This is on its own weight. There is nothing anywhere underneath. That one's out, you guys can see the top of it over there. All right, let's get a measuring tape. So, I don't remember what the, the front was. I'm sure I'll know in, in editing, but the rear now is 17 and a quarter. And the front now is uh, 15 and three quarters, right in there. So the rear is now two inches higher. And I'm about to start the front, but that's a, another video. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry if this video is super long. I honestly have no idea how long this video really is. I do know, uh, let me see what time it is. It is 4.30. I've been out here since 8.30. So, solid eight hour day putting this in. Uh, I did take about an hour, hour 15 lunch. So, we'll knock that down to about six and a half hours to put this in. Only problems I really ran into were the pinion angle. Um, I had to take the U-bolts completely out, let the axle drop completely down. I had to put the jack on the front of the axle on the pinion, and I had to jack that up to get it to tilt. And then I had to work with the pry bar to get the blocks back in. Um, I didn't do any of that on camera just because it was a lot of me fighting to get it where I wanted it. And I mean, as you guys see, the axle is still off centered, so it's not still it's not exactly in the right spot, but. I'm tired of messing with the rear, guys. I am covered in metal from drilling and cutting. God, those rivets kicked my ass, guys. I hate, I hate machined rivets. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. But this is all done now, so I'm not going to complain. It's finished. Uh, the only thing we're going to do in the future probably is I did take the blocks out, and there's paint peeling where the guy that had them before me painted them. And they say five inch on them, so I'm guessing they're five inch blocks. And I did put the two inch stock blocks back in, in there. So that's seven inches and an inch and a half at a leaf. That's about six and a half inches. So six and a half inches in blocks. So when I order new blocks, I'll probably just order seven inch blocks. Um, and then the rear, it's supposed to be a six inch lift shackle. I looked up on WFO Concepts and it says it gives you five and a half inches of lift, but the plate itself is bigger than my frame. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys earlier, but it is bigger than my frame, so I dropped it uh, about two inches. So in my opinion, that should give us about seven and a half inches of a lift. So seven and a half plus, what I say, six and a half. Oh, math, 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 14. So we're about 14 in the rear, and we're about 15 in the front, so that tells me that, that that's pretty accurate because the front's two inches lower which is normal for engine weight. We have engine, yeah, we have, we have engine. We have a engine in the front and we have nothing in the rear. So the rear is gonna sit naturally higher. So we're about 14 in the front, 15, or yeah, 15 in the front, 14 in the rear. We're about to go up another four inches. You guys stay tuned for that video. I wanna thank you guys if you made it this far. Please drop a like on this video, guys. Go down and smash that like button. We got bodders coming for this, 42 and a half inch tall bodders. We've got suspension paint. Um, we might be doing something fancy real soon to that. I really need you guys to go down, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. See ya.